Greetings from LA, my dear, dear friends. This is Daisuke, and I very, very much hope that this video finds you well and in very, very good spirits wherever you are in the world. And today, if you don't mind, I would like to continue on uh, with respect to our uh, discussions uh, regarding this great Blu-ray. It's a single disc Blu-ray of two films by Yasujiro Ozu, uh, which are A Story of Floating Weeds, uh, Kikusa Monogatari from 1934, and Floating Weeds, uh, Gigusa, uh, from 1959, the one being a black and white silent film, the other being a color sound film, uh, but patterned upon the same or very similar story, uh, with differences, uh, mind you, but uh, there's a certain similarity of, of plot structure. So uh, oftentimes it's uh, considered that the Floating Weeds is considered a kind of remake or revisiting of the sto story or subject matter of the earlier story of Floating Weeds. There's an interesting spiritual connection between the two films. Thus, I think we're making good double build choice for the single Blu-ray disc released from Criterion. Uh, so over the course of a number of videos, my dear friends, we have been talking about the films, uh, Story of Floating Weeds and Floating Weeds. Weeds. But now I'd like to just uh, conclude with some uh, general comments about the packaging and also, uh, again, um, uh, the essay and just final thoughts on this uh, release. So, uh, again, this was uh, this has been an earlier DVD release uh, at spine number 232. This is the double disc DVD release. But here we have a single disc uh, release and it's also at spine number 232. The films themselves don't have their own individual spine number, but they never did before, uh, at least as far as I, I can uh, ascertain it to be. And so that's the same now. So it's a single spine number for the two films under the single catalog release. Um, and it's a single Blu-ray, so whenever you put the, when you put the disc in the player, as we discussed uh, in previous video discussions, you immediately have the choice of selecting either a story of floating weeds or floating weeds. So, and it'll take you to the respective film menus within the Blu-ray disc itself. We've spoken about what's associated with the supplements uh, for each of the films. The commentary tracks are the, the main, uh, the main uh, um, attraction in the supplements arena. Um, and I should point out again, like I pointed out before, it would have been great that we had more supplements for the 2024 release. It's We don't get that, so uh, it, I know that's going to disappoint some. But I do want to emphasize once again the, that the commentary tracks that are carried over, they are themselves absolutely golden, really, really golden. Donald Ritchie's commentary track for the 1934 silent film and then Roger Ebert's commentary track for the 1959 sound film. They're each in their own. It's so golden, so rich, so filled with information. So I think they reap the rewards uh, uh, in their own way, so well, especially upon uh, listening a number of times. So uh, I strongly recommend that. Very much. Um, I should point out too, in terms of the contours, you know, this is a, a single disc Blu ray, and so it's in this plastic case, at least the version I have. And we have how the single disc uh, with some uh, imagery in the inside of the plastic casing, and the, the booklet would, of course, go on this side. Um, and so uh, we have the artwork too, which is very reminiscent of the earlier DVD artwork, although I must say it's a little bit, yes. I would say that the DVD looks a little bit darker in tint. Very, maybe it's a very minute change, but overall, I think it's uh, uh, the artwork is uh, is intact, uh, and it's reminiscent of a poster that we see in one of the films. Uh, so I like that detail as well. Uh, just uh, for note, in terms of art, art director Sarah Habibi, Eric Stillman, designer Lucien S Y Yang, art production coordinator William Brace, uh, print production artist Craig Phillips, art assistant Julie Sussman. So I really like this uh, motif. Again, something that's part of the milieu of, the, of one of the films itself, uh, Floating Weeds. Uh, so that's really great. Um, and then we have the booklet, you know, or the fold-out. You know, I'm, it's a fold-out type. I'm not a fan of the fold-out type, but um, you know, I like the, the fact that we have a much like, we have shots from the, both films, uh, a story of Floating Weeds here. Uh, and then floating weeds here, uh, and then we have a great highlight, which is the Donald Ritchie essay, the stories of floating weeds, which is right here. So really nice. Uh, it's talking about both films, and uh, Donald Ritchie, of course, is an expert, um, a legend in Japanese cinema studies. So uh, it's great to have this essay once again. Uh, stories of floating weeds. Uh, my strong suggestion is to watch the both film, both films first, and then you can read the great essay. Some aspects talk about uh, each film specifically, 
So a story of floating wheat specific sections or floating wheat specific sections, and then also just overall uh, in terms of the context of, of the, the, con uh, the spiritual connections between the two, Yasujiro Ozu's career, etc. A really great essay from a, a great Ozu expert and cinema, Japanese cinema expert writ large, that's Donald Ritchie. So, um, and I, I also like the paper. The, the use of paper has a, a kind of a slightly thick, not quite postcard thick, but uh, somewhere in that vicinity type of thickness to it, which I really like. So uh, I like that. Uh, I also like the shiny paper that they use, but uh, somehow or another, this is this feels like poster paper, which I think is very apropos if we think about how the, the cover art itself is meant to mimic one of the posters of the, of the Floating Weeds uh, film, especially early on. So. Uh, I like that little detail, uh, you know, if, even if it was uh, if it was done on purpose or not. In any event, I like that detail. So, very nice. Yeah. So Ozu films are, are re-emerging in the Criterion Collection. Uh, if you don't have the earlier DVD edition, I think this is a great place to go. I mean, it's a one-stop shop. You're getting two films essentially for the price of one, uh, and they're very key films. Really, really key films in the Ozu catalog. They're, they're, they are, in many ways, the similar story. So uh, you're getting the way in which Ozu maybe has remade a film before, although uh, granted with a number of differences. Ozu has been known to do that at some points in his filmography, so this is another great example of this. So you're getting a little bit of that Ozu history. It's a, these are two exceptional films. One from the silent, uh, one of the silent periods of Ozu's filmography, and one from uh, the latter half of his career, you know, in the 1950s. So um, you're getting great uh, uh, representations of Ozu's filmography from, from different periods of time. So that's another way to get it. Um, and uh, although there aren't any visual essays or video essays or, or sit-down interviews per se, uh, the commentary tracks themselves have so much information. So um, I think those are the great ways uh, to get to know more about these films. And also for those of you who are approaching Ozu films for the first time, uh, watch the films again with the commentary tracks on. I, really, I, I, I can't stress enough how great the commentary tracks are. So uh, please do so if you have the opportunity. Um, and uh, yeah, so uh, it's uh, again, uh, I think it's uh, it's great that this is re-emerging this way and with the hopes that maybe as many people might get the chance to see these two films uh, as much as possible because they are really, really exceptional masterworks uh, from one of the greats, uh, Yasujiro Ozu. These are the films which are A Story of Floating Weeds and Floating Weeds. All right, my dear friends. So uh, let's. That's it for our discussions of this uh, this release. So thank you very much for stopping by. I really, really, really appreciate it. Uh, and so until the next video, my dear dear friends, uh, I very much hope that you continue to be happy and healthy and well, and that you continue to watch a lot of great, great, great movies, including. A Story of Floating Weeds, including Floating Weeds, including other films by Yasujiro Ozu, including other films in the Criterion Collection, and beyond, beyond, beyond. So until the next video, my dear, dear friends, stay strong, stay safe, and cheers. Cheers.